So hi and welcome to this Python 101 video. So today we're going to be learning about is how to create a menu in Python. Like this menu you see here, um, we're going to be creating one of these in Python. Um, and as I said in the last video, all these new videos are, um, we're all, in all these new Python 101 videos, I'm using Python 3 as opposed to Python 2. Um, so just make sure that, uh, to make sure that everything works for you, that you're using Python 3. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to say from take hinder import all. What this does is it just get it says from the take hinder library import everything. And what we also need to remember is that in Python 2 it's take hinder with a capital T and in Python 3 it's take hinder with a lowercase t. Then what we want to do is we want to create a variable called window and we want to set it equal to the tk variable. Notice it's a capital T and not a capital K. Um, so what this basically does is just think of the tk um, function as the main window, which is why I called it window. Then obviously we need a menu bar, so we're going to say menu bar equals menu. And we obviously we, uh, need to give it one parameter, which is window. So this just says basically that the menu bar belongs to the window. So then what we want to do is we want to say... Um, menu bar dot add underscore cascade and then in here what we want to say is label equals file and then we want to also say um, uh, we want to say menu equals and we're going to create this in a second so we're just going to call it file menu whoops not file name file menu so then above here what we want to say is uh, file menu equals uh, menu then we want to say is menu bar so that way that we're basically saying the file um, file menu belongs to the menu bar and then what we want to say is tear off equals zero so don't worry about tear off equals zero just remember that uh, you need to have this or it won't work and won't actually display then what we want to say is file menu dot add underscore command. Then we want to give this a parameter. The first one is um, label. Uh, that is the first parameter. We're just going to set it equal to new. Uh, we'll actually set it to equal to close because that's what we're going to get it to do. And then what we want to say is command equals close. And the close is just a function that I'm going to create now. So what we're basically doing is we're going to say menu bar dot add command, which is basically just a menu item like these here. So in this new window is a menu item, and open is a menu item, and whatever. So what we're doing is we're creating a menu item called close, and we're giving it a command that says close. So then up here we want to say def close, and we want to set it equal to exit. I mean we want to uh, run the when the function runs, we want it to exit the program, so we give it the exit command. The next thing we need to do is we just need to say uh, window dot config. And then in here, what we want to say is menu equals menu bar. And then finally, we just want to say whoops window dot main loop. And what the main loop is is it's just a continuous loop that runs. So this is basically like. Uh, the, the main loop runs whenever the program is running and it stops when the program stops. So let's see did this work. So let's hit F5, see if we made any mistakes or not. And as you can see, we get our window and if we click file, we have the close menu item. Uh, we can click close and it says, are you sure you want to kill the program? We click OK and it works, it kills the program. So this has been a really simple example of how to create a menu. Uh, and a menu bar in Python. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, and also don't forget to leave any comments or send me a message or an email or whatever. Um, if you um telling me of whatever you want to see. So if you want to see something in particular, just let me know, uh, and I'll do my best to um make a video about it. So thanks for watching. Uh, and don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.